now then, this is the time of the year when some of us like to enjoy the odd glass of wine. But how do you avoid drinking petrol? That's what we want to know. <laughs> Don't hang around, Gary. I mean, how would you drink petrol? The pump in your mouth in the garage? I've never been that bad, have you, James? Uh, well, the only time I've ever drunk petrol, and um, everybody's done this, is when you're siphoning it. <laughs> and the trick is, you've got, to, you've got to get a loop in the thing and get it beyond the loop and then put it there. But most people lie on the floor and do that and think it'll come in a minute. And it gets in there. And it goes straight I've done it when I was fire eating, but that's another story. <laughs> anyway, here to help us is the world's most eccentric wine critic and the host of WineLibraryTV.com, live and direct from New York City. It's Gary Vaynerchuk. Gary! <laughs> Gary. Welcome to the show, Gary. It's good to be Thanks. here. Thanks for having me. When did you first start enjoying wine and you know, tasting well, it? Well, and... my dad dragged me into the liquor store that he owned. And my kind of dad. That's yeah. right. Yeah. I was 14, <laughs> and I hated it, actually, at first. But around 16, I started reading about wine. It was actually because I realized people collected wine, and I was collecting baseball cards, trains, things like that. So once I saw that people collected it, I was like, I can do this. Yeah. And why do we have all these ingredients? I mean, what's all this Well, so here's stuff? the thing. Even yeah. though I was born in Russia, yeah. an Eastern European household, and we had a liquor store as our family business, yeah. my parents would not let me drink. Yeah. So I was obsessed with becoming the greatest wine critic. So I would read those tasting notes that Robert Parker, Jancis Robinson, they would write, flour, ginger, rock, dirt. I was like, well, what the heck? If I'm gonna become an expert, I'm gonna go out and eat those things before I'm 21 ridiculous age in America, and so I went and started eating those things. So we're gonna eat them. These are the nuances found in the specific wines. Rocks, really? Rocks, we'll get to that in a minute. Let's go to the first wine. Okay, Did like you eat a rock? Yeah, well, just don't, don't be scared. Right. Grab the glass. Per actually, leave that there for a second. <laughs> this is a Tarantis from Argentina. Tarantis is exploding, very hot. Everybody's drinking them. You know, five to 10 pounds, really well-priced wines. This has a rose petal ginger flavor. So what I want you to do, boys, is grab a little rose petal. Don't be scared. Paul, don't be scared. I'm um, just... Okay, take a little bite. Not a smell, a bite. Get in there. A little ginger. Nice. A little ginger. A little ginger. All right, now... Now grab the wine. Grab the wine. Let's give this a sniffy sniff, because smelling wines is very underrated. You liked it, huh? Well, smelling well. wines is very underrated. You gotta get the bouquet, so sniffy sniff it up. Do you smell a little of that ginger? Uh, lovely. Rose Delicious. petals. Yeah, a little yeah. rose petals. All right, now let's give it a whirl. Let's try it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. What did you think of the wine? I think it's very nice, too, And you James. really get the ginger in there, actually. Yeah. It's a very good way of getting rid of the taste of the rose petals. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> All right, now this is a Sauvignon Blanc from Chile, but we've got others. We've got others. I do call that we've got others. This is a, when a this, taken this off is a Sauvignon Blanc from <laughs> Chile. This has kind of a lemon thing going on. It's got like lemons, and there's some salt in here, boys, the minerality. So, what I want you to do is I want you to grab a rock. All right? I'll grab a rock. Now, I want you to lick the rock. Lick it. Taste the oysters. Yeah. That's yeah, right, that's yeah. right. Has it a little of that. Yeah, it does, not it? Bad, it does right? like an oyster. All right, now, don't, you, don't bite it. Mind now, your teeth, James, on James, you're gonna lose a tooth tasting wine. All right, now the Lieta, Sauvignon Blanc from Chile. This is starting to get really hot. Nice. Do you smell the lemon on the yeah. nose? And now let's give it a whirl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough of that. Okay, what did you think of that, James? That's lovely. Oh, that's actually one now of my remember, favorite grapes. Isn't it? Now remember, you gotta drink responsibly, this is fun, and also, I have no emotional attachment to these wines. So if you dislike them, tell them, because I don't care. What I want people to do, and why I started WineLibraryTV.com, was to get people to trust their own palate. Yeah. There's way too much snootiness, people think there's it something. Is, isn't that? Yeah, it's way too much. Overwhelmed. Everybody yeah. thinks you need to know something. Here's what. Relax over there. Oh, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> Everybody has to know. What you need to know is you need to like what you drink, but try different things. Everybody gets stuck in a rut. All right, Pinot Noir, which got very hot in the U.S. after Sideways. Pinot Noir from Chile again. Okay. Now I want you to sniffy sniff it. Don't drink it. Now this one's a lot of fun. I yeah, want what you that to. Smells of this has a, that's right. That's a very good point. It We're gonna, it. First, it? first we have leather. We're gonna lick the leather. <laughs> Lick the leather. Nice. James, come on. Lick the leather. Right. Now, tobacco. 
tobacco on top of raspberries. Got to add Yep. Yeah. So I want you to eat this raspberry and tobacco. Well, this is the chef, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> so this is raspberries with real tobacco. Oh, it's quite nice. Pretty good, right? Yeah. Underrated it could have good treat. After that. That's a very good point. How do you think we make the wines taste good? Now, let's give it a whirl. Nice. You like that? Yeah. I like and all of them actually. Are you getting the leather and the raspberry on the flavor? I'm yeah. getting, yeah. I'm or getting... more of the tobacco that you got in the nose. I'm getting tobacco. Yeah, tobacco. Okay, let's move on. Don't get romanced by any one wine. We've got more. This is exciting. I like that. That's I, my favorite. I want well. everybody at home to pay attention to this. If you're looking for value this holiday season, Portugal. I think Portugal is emerging as the real value country in the world. These are, wines can be had between three and 10 pounds, amazing quality. This is a Dodo wine. This one tastes like prunes and cigars. So what we do is we take a cigar. <laughs> we, we get a little, That's right. a west of a cigar, Gabby. I know, so I'm sorry. It's not a very, very special cigar. Here's a prune. Now, I'm gonna need you. We need, I don't mind the cigar, it's the prune. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Now I want you to bite the cigar. Uh, Cause you really gotta get the cigar flavor. <laughs> All right, you picking that up on the pal? What is going? Yeah. All right, now. I'm excited about boys. Cheers. Good Cheers. luck. Good health. Happy Christmas. <laughs> Give it a sniff. Snippy sniff. Snippy sniff. Snippy sniff. Oh, it's lovely. Now give it a whirl. Very nice. <laughs> Quite creamy, I think. I do. Did you notice the tannins on this wine? That's lovely, that. All right, and finally, this is from the south of France, V2. We're going to do black pepper. Lovely. Black they pepper do. with strawberries. Fabulous. Boys. Yes, strawberries. they do ice cream with black pepper in it and strawberries. They do, delicious. they do. Take a bite of strawberry. Now, I need you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's very nice, Sam. Yeah. Now we've got it. Can I drop, James? I do. Can I get down your neck? Have a go back out. I can't even speak. That's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> you get the deepness in the wine? Where are we going after this? Are we going somewhere else? <laughs> yeah, gonna... Are we going out? Oh, We're right. going out. Oh, we go up west, eh? Have a curry. Yes. <laughs> I enjoyed that very much. God help the strictly come dancing, people. <laughs> Place for Daddy. Daddy, that was remarkable. Thank remarkable. You. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. And for more information about wines, then you know what to do, don't you? <laughs> you don't hang around our side off licenses and give people grief. You go to our nearest website. 